While traditional jewellery rules the roast, there is still a section of the people that are experimenting with interesting and new ideas when it comes to jewellery and establishing some serious jewellery goals. Keeping this trend in mind, we have curated a list of the most chic, the most modern and the most trendy contemporary jewellery designers during this wedding season. Choosing the right shimmers for your special day can be a daunting task because they are the ones which will stay with you as an investment and a possible heirloom throughout your life. And if you're still not sure which look will work with your outfit, head on over to RK Jewelers, where they'll guide you through all the different forms of bridal jewelry available. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, hmm. and then gold and kundan and polki are close friends. Ah, so it's like the inner circle. Yes, the inner circle. Yes. But uh, honestly speaking, are girls going beyond the diamond and the gold routine these days? Of course, of course. Uh, I think uh, beyond diamond and gold, uh, the new trend is uh, mostly kundan and polki. Uh, the modern day bride is preferring uh, the traditional craft of. Polki jewellery more mm. than say gold or diamond these days. What is the difference between Polki and Kundan honestly? <laughs> because I don't know. Let me tell you in layman terms that Kundan is generally referred to as uh, Polki look-alike. Kundan essentially is a piece of, is a slice of glass as well as Polki is a slice of diamonds. But what are your predictions for this wedding season? Do you see certain jewellery pieces being in vogue or being in trend? Polki chokers, Navratan right. sets mm. is, is what is very high in trend. For diamonds it is uh, we ex we think that it will be more flexible and wearable jewellery like chokers which can also become bracelets, pieces that uh, are very modern and chic in diamonds because that is what the millennials prefer. Right. And when it comes to polki they want to go all traditional like the sets that were in trend 100 years ago I have come back in trend now. Oh really? Yeah. When Anushka got married it was all uh, tourmaline uh, colour stones, pink tourmaline which was in. Right. Now then after that now if Deepika has gotten married with a lot of gemstones studded inside the set. Mm -hmm. So you know that is the next uh, requirement. That I'm is sure. going to be the latest yeah. trend. Whether you are a bride or a bridesmaid, jewellery is an integral part of every wedding outfit. Now as much as we would like to pick out diamonds for that special occasion, sometimes our credit card is not up for the adventure. So I have picked out some bling for you to help you stand out and shine bright in this wedding season. For all you new age brides out there, if contemporary jewellery is more your style, then Swarovski Confluence is the way to go. Renowned designers like Tarun Tahiliani, Sunit Varma and Ina Aluwalia have designed these exclusive pieces along with Swarovski crystals to leave a lasting impression when worn with your wedding outfit. Bling doesn't always have to include gems and jewels. Sometimes even thread and mirror can create beautiful handcrafted jewellery. Think of hand-embroidered gota chokers, heavy necklaces and literally anything unique. Fooljhari has got it all. Fooljhari was born five years ago in 2013. It's, uh, the whole idea was to bring something new and different to the market and we decided to come up with hand embroidered jewellery okay. which was very new to the market then. So we hmm. primarily also catered to, the, uh, to brides for their mehendi and haldi. Were people adaptable to it? Like, you know, it's something very different and you tend to wear real jewellery at functions, but now the trend has changed completely. Yeah, so you know, uh, for mehendis it used to be floral jewellery, like people mm. used to wear uh, phulo ke gehne as gehne, they say. Yeah. But you know, the disadvantage is that, you know, if it's not made well, it can look really bulky. Mm. B, they murjhao after 2-3 hours. So right. you know, then, the, then the whole look starts looking very shabby. Mm. With this jewellery, it looks pretty, it adds an element of different and it's fun. So what are the current trends uh, that you predict are going to be hot this season? So we are doing a lot of pastels. Okay. Uh, 
you know we are we're not adding a lot of color mm-hmm. but yeah of course if a bride needs a certain customization we are very open to that okay we do a lot of customized jewelry because it's obviously for a wedding and you know we yeah. have to customize it according to the outfit of the bride mm-hmm. but in general i am doing a lot of pastels and mm-hmm. i am mixing a lot of gold and silver okay. and also silver in its by itself is very popular these days a lot of like a lot, a silver the silver dabka color like a lot of the silver color is getting very popular and we are breaking away from the jarring colors okay so this season we've done like a lot of pastel pinks pastel blues yellows greens like really really muted tones but statement pieces so what is the price bracket on these things what do you start from uh it is affordable so- It's definitely affordable than the real it's, thing. It's yes, it's definitely affordable and plus it's for keeps. Hmm. You know, and this this jewelry is something that a bride if she doesn't want to wear the whole set, but she can definitely use one element of the entire set to wear it to a friend's mehndi or to a cocktail. Hmm. So it's reusable and we are very very focused on providing good quality. Hmm. You know, so that's something that we keep in mind. So you know, once you once you have a quality product, it's something that you can use later. Right. So coming back to price points, we start hmm. as low as seven hundred rupees for okay. rings, oh, that's great. and then maximum we go up to is about eight and eight and a half thousand for a necklace. Diamonds, crystals, and beautifully embroidered jewelry. There is so much in store for brides to choose from this wedding season. But when it comes to shadi shopping, the list is endless. So if you have any ideas on where to go jewelry shopping leave a comment below and stay tuned to indianexpress.com